picked him up and put him in Joseph's new tomb. According to Peter, the body was reposed in sleep, but the spirit of my God went down in the spirit world, went back into the antediluvian period. Those that were alive before the flood of Noah's time, and he held a revival back there and preached to the spirits that were in prison. Hey, glory. And while the revival was going on, the clock kept on ticking. And in his spirit, he knew it was the third day. Well, fellas, I got to go. The devil tried to stop him. Demons tried to catch a hold to him. But the Bible said he rendered them helpless. He made a show of them openly. And he came out of the grave with all power in his hand. Yeah! And that body came out Easter morning in a glorified state. It was a body gravitation couldn't control. So while he was blessing his disciples out there at the city of Bethany, gravitation couldn't stop him. He caught the nearest cloud and started going up. And I see two angels, my God, standing by. And the disciples were looking up. And while they were looking up, the two angels touched them and said, Hey, you men of Galilee, why do you stand here gazing up in the heaven? The same Jesus that you see going up. The same Jesus that walked in Galilee. The same Jesus that talked beside the sea. The same Jesus that hung and bled on the cross. Jesus, he's coming back again. Ah, I want to be ready. Ah. Oh, yeah. When he comes, ah, when he comes, it's going to be like a thief and a robber by night. He that's holy, let him be holy still. He that's righteous, let him be righteous still. He that's filthy, let him be filthy still. Ah, when he comes, when he comes, I want to be caught up, caught up to meet him in the air. Yeah. I'm going to quit. Hey, Lord. Woo-hoo! I'm glad that this is not the end of the story. You read in the storybooks and the heroes 
always keep the glory for themselves. But Jesus, if you let me paraphrase it, he'll tell you, I started out in heaven. I didn't have to go through all that. I didn't have to leave the hallelujahs of heaven. I didn't have to come down and look at how low he came. He left heaven. Somebody said if he stopped at the sun, it would have been a brighter world. If he stopped at the moon, it would have been a saner world. If he had stopped at Jupiter, it would have been a mightier world. If he stopped at Mercury, it would have been a faster moving world. By Saturn and the other planets he was not seen. And Mars had no men which he could redeem. But I'm glad that I can say, to take my feet out of the miry clay, he came all, he came all the way down. Down to poverty. Down to being despised. Down into the filth of this earth. Down to mingle with filthy sinners. Down to be talked about, scandalized and spat on. And he went down into the earth. And then when he got up out of the grave, he didn't do anything but go back to where he started. He didn't have to do that for himself, but he did it for you and me. He became sin that we could be righteous. He became poor that we could be rich. He died that we could live. You don't hear what I'm saying. And when it came up out of the grave, he had defeated our enemy. But I heard Paul say in 1 Corinthians 15 and 57, but thanks be unto God, which gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He suffered it all for you. He suffered it all for me. Hey! He got up out the grave to let us know that death is not the end of your life. He got up out the grave to let you know a cold, dirty grave will not be your eternal home. And I don't know about you, but when I think about it, I get excited. Something in me want to say hallelujah. Something in me want to say glory. My feet want to run when nobody's after me. Tears start flowing when I don't have nothing to cry about. somebody thank God that his resurrection is not the end of the story Woo!